Well, everyone, it is officially official as Vladimir Tarasenko wants to be traded from the St. Louis Blues. We talked about this a few videos back, but now it is a reality as the winger doesn't trust the organization and wants out of the gateway to the West, that is St. Louis. So what exactly is going on in all this? And what do I see his value being? We'll talk about that. But before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe as we push closer to 300 and back on to the topic. So, we all know Vladimir Tarasenko has three shoulder surgeries in the past three years. And I believe that the first two surgeries were done by the team's medical staff, which is always weird that they have a medical staff. Um, but yeah, then the third shoulder surgery was done by a normal doctor, not a team staff person. Um, so that they could fix the ligament damage, and I believe it was in his left shoulder. Now, that is something that, you know, I would be pretty mad about if I was him. You get two shoulder surgeries by the team medical staff, and it doesn't work. Then you get your third one done, and it's like, did they mess up all that good stuff there? So I could see why he'd be mad. Anyway, he's not happy, and he has a no-trade clause, but it looks like he's going to waive that. And supposedly, there's a list of ten teams he would want to be traded to. I'm not exactly sure how many teams would take him though, because he has got a $9.5 million cap hit in this upcoming season. That's a lot to cough up for a player that has played 34 out of a possible 140 games in St. Louis for their regular season and postseason games the past two years. It's also a concern because his production is not what it used to be, as for the first time in his NHL career, his shooting percentage dipped below double digits. That's really concerning, and here's why. For the course of his career, Wyatt's a 12.6% shooter, which means that out of the shots that he gets on net, 12.6% go in. This year, the shooting percentage was dropped by over half, as he only hit 6.2% of the shots to turn them into goals, which is well below league average, not the sniper category where he's been before, because anything usually about over 10% is above league average, so he... Yeah, sniper category, I'd say, fits the bill. But yeah, this is what you would expect for a defenseman if their shooting percentage was 6.2%. And that's concerning. Because by his normal standards, he would have had about 9 goals in 24 games this year. Instead, he had 4. And there's a lot to talk about with that. Things are not going to be going well for him if this continues, and they're not going well right now. And I'll be putting some stats up on the screen right quick. And red is good for these these shorts. So from 2016 to 2016-17 season to the 2018-19 season, there was a lot of red on these graphs, and they were you know very close to you know the net, which is a good thing for Vlad. As in 2016-17, he scored 39 goals in 82 games, 33 in the 2017-18 season in 80 games, and then again 33 in. 76 games in the 2018-19 season. Then this year is where you can see Tarasenko had four goals in 24 games. And as you can see, there was not a lot of red on this chart, especially close to the net. That is so concerning. That's all 5-on-5 five five too, which is another big concern because that's where Vlad gets the majority of his production and his average power play time on ice per game has dropped off a little bit the past two years likely due to the shoulder surgery. Now, I'm not sure if teams that traded for Vlad would put him on the power play more than what he's been on it the past few years because it's all about chemistry, which he'd be new. Also, you have the shoulder surgery. surgery. You don't know what's going on there, uh, how he's feeling, all that good stuff. And then in general, it's just like the production hasn't been what it was in the past. And I don't know. I think that what we might be seeing is a different player compared to what we saw five years ago. And here's just a really weird thing to point out here. And I'm not saying everything in the Russian tanks game has changed, but there are some signs that things have changed in the past two years compared to normal standards. A big thing is average hits per game. Before these two years, he averaged 0.68 points per game. Hits per game, excuse me. And the past two years... He's averaged 1.38 hits per game. That's a 70% increase in hits. And while some people might say, oh, that's a good thing, he's getting more physical, it's not working. Whatever is going on here is not working. In seven years, you average 0.68 hits per game. And then over two years, you average 1.38. You literally get way more. I mean, that's a crazy 70% increase. That's insane. 
like that's double the hits per game and or it'd be close to it yeah but uh you know that's something that's not a coincidence you get those shoulder surgeries your production goes down a little bit now you're forcing your game in different ways and i think that's what we might be seeing here the shoulder surgery is affecting his game and not for the better i think we all know that so at the end of the day, things are looking pretty rough for Vladimir as this season didn't help his stock, but it's clear. You know, at the end of the day, he was he wants out of St. Louis. It doesn't seem like he wants to be here anymore. And for a lot of people, I'd say that they'd say, okay, this is a justifiable reason. And had he been playing the way he used to before the injuries, then there would be a plethora of suitors that would be coming at him. Now, instead of teams coming at him like that, there's likely just going to be a few that maybe would um, if they can work on the cap, because nine and a half million dollars per year is not going to work, and the production the past two years doesn't justify nine and a half million dollars per season. Now I think that it would drop off a little bit in year two. After this, it might drop off to like five point five or something like that. But either way, can you really justify to your fans for spending nine and a half million dollars on a player that's had three surgeries on a shoulder? I'm pretty sure it's a shooting shoulder as well, and his production's gone down, and he's getting a little bit older. I don't think that you could, and it's sad, and I hope he can get bounced back, but these injuries have got me super concerned for Vlad, and I know, I think it is alright for him to probably be a little mad about the situation right now. Do you think that it's right for Vlad to not trust the Blues organization? Let me know down below. Also, what team do you think would pick him up, and do you think you'd like your team to pick him up if the Blues retain some salary? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, please make sure to like and subscribe. Got those graphs or those graphics, those charts from Hockey Viz, a great website. You should check it out. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today. Everybody stay safe, have a great day, and stay away from COVID, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.